Hello, I'm JC Vargas and I'm Celine Grace and we conduct watercolor and charcoal workshops with Playcrafts PH. 
If you want to learn more or if you want to join our online classes, just give Playcrafts PH a message. You can download our recorded classes as well via Google Classroom. Hello, I'm Iris Pavo Uwe and I do workshops for Playcrafts. I do hope that you can join us in one of our sessions. I have a lot of watercolor classes at Playcrafts and I hope you can keep them up. Guys, check out my classes in Playcrafts PH. Hi, I'm Emmanuel Silva, full-time artist, and I specialize in watercolor. I have been painting this particular medium for more than 10 years. I have a lot of discoveries to share, and if you want to, you can avail one of my lessons via Google Classroom. I conduct workshops with Playcrafts, and together with Mom Beth Robles, I can share to you the wonders of watercolor painting. So, I want to see you guys in one of my video lessons. Take care and God bless. Hi, I am Gilbert Miraflor, a watercolor artist. I am inviting you to watch my watercolor videos. They are available from Playcrafts. Please have fun. This is Bianca Lustre, a watercolorist, and I conduct workshops for playcrafts. I've been painting every single day for the past three years, and with everything I've learned, I'm happy to share it with you through my online or recorded classes via Google Classroom. I'm looking forward to painting with you, and together, let's make this world a little bit more colorful. For more info, Please contact Playcrafts. See ya! Hello, this is Nina Hidalgo, a miniature watercolorist, and I conduct workshops for Playcrafts via Watercolor Aficionados Group. Avail of our watercolor online classes through Google Classroom. Hi, I'm Michelle Gonzalez, a watercolor artist and teacher. Um, I have attended a few of Playcrafts PH workshops and I've also shared my process in some of them. And I have to say that Beth Robles, the woman behind Playcrafts PH, has meticulously selected um, workshops and artists so that students of beginner and intermediate levels benefit most from their classes. So I highly um, suggest and recommend that you follow her Facebook page and Instagram account to know more about the workshops lined up every month. Also, Beth and I, along with Minya Hidalgo, have a Facebook group called Watercolor Aficionados. We offer live demos and art challenges to our members every month and also exclusive classes to subscribers. So please do join our group, especially if you're a watercolor beginner who wants to get constant inspiration and also um, ways to develop your skills in watercolor painting.
Thanks so much and keep safe.
Let us remember that we are all in the holy presence of God. Dear Lord, we thank you for today as we unwind our month-long festivities of showcasing watercolor and its practitioners, both professional and those starting to learn the idiosyncrasies of the medium. Thank you, Lord, for the talents you have given us, and thank you, Lord, for the wonderful people who have made this activity a wonderful success. Our accomplishments would seem to have been serendipitous, but it is the result of the labors of the committee heads and their members. But most of all, this could not have been possible without the participation of our members, who from day one had been there eagerly awaiting the outcome of our hard work. We thank you, Lord, for today as we gather and finish this activity to bring it to a close. We do this for your greater glory. In Jesus' name, amen. again mga kasining, I am Emmanuel Silva, your host for tonight's fourth uh, National Water Color Convention's Cumulating Night. I'd like to start off by saying thank you for tuning in into the live stream and we are hoping you are staying uh, safe at home. Uh, we know how excited you are for the announcement of our extensive month-long convention activity winners. A warm hello to our convention partners, a generous featured artist, sponsors, and jurors, and also to our hardworking committee members. This convention was the first of many, and we hope we have brought you uh, much joy, excitement, and new learnings. Uh, the LRI Design Plaza holds our display of our works and will continue to showcase the exhibition up until October 31st. For this duration, we hope that you can visit the gallery to witness all of the works together. Before the announcement of uh, the prize winners, I am joined by Ms. Joanne, Ms. Pinky, and the convention committee heads for a word of takes. What's next? And of course, what's most awaited? Announcement of winners. We are also joined by our few noted guests, convention committee members, fellow participants who would like to share how the convention has been for them. We would like to call on our PGW's VP for Local Art Experiences and our convention committee overall head, Ms. Joanne Kakayan, to open tonight's event. Thank you, Eman. Magandang gabi mga kasini. How time flies! Just 28 days ago, we opened the 4th PGW National Watercolor Convention with a bang. There was such a buzz and excitement in the air. In fact, we continue to receive requests to join the convention even up to this week. Our projected participants exceeded more than 100%. So, what makes this convention different? Each of you made the difference. Amidst all the uncertainties of today, you showed up. 
you made time for it. You made it happen. And this only meant that you cared for your passion. First off, I wish to thank the PGW board for the trust in me in the convention team. You see, most of us are new. We, we, we do not have a clue. We did not have a clue of how the previous conventions were. But you gave us the freedom to dream and the wings to make things happen. On April 16, the convention committee first came together. We are proudly an eclectic group of different generations and personalities from different walks of life. And we all had only one desire, to have the best experience for you, the participants. By putting ourselves in your shoes, what do you want to hear? What do you want to learn? But first, we put ourselves in each other's shoes. Let me bring you in behind the scenes. During the preparations and while the convention was ongoing, we all in the committee naturally have our own lives to live. We were not spared of the realities everyone is living, the demands of work, family life, anxieties in the current situation, and COVID affected some of us too within our families. Um, someone once said, if you saw the size of the blessing coming, you would understand the magnitude of the battle you have, you are fighting. It was a blind spot. We didn't expect this much, but this team stood together, covering for each other regardless of job description. We found a safe place to talk, not just about work, but what we truly felt and cared about, what truly mattered. And as we shared, we divided the sufferings and multiplied the joys. I deeply felt, personally, the sense of unity in a community. And so, in between the mistakes and misgivings we might have had on you, and we deeply, really apologize for any. And yes, the many bloopers we had, these are all pillars we built and continue to build up to this point of culminating the convention and hopefully even beyond. We had our vulnerabilities, imperfections, but we had a big, we have a big heart to grow together as a family. And there were you. Your excitement to learn and participate in all the activities floored us. To see your happiness in your photos, in your exhibit visits, your giddy excitement over your convention kits as if it's Christmas morning. To witness your enthusiasm to learn from each demo and virtual talks kahit na back-to-back -back pa yan. I know others log in even while in their cars, just not to miss a bit of the segment. To hear you having a deeper appreciation of our pigments for one, or to being armed with understanding of the legalities and practicalities of how to deal with the realities of being an artist, to the heartfelt realization of the beauty of our humanity as artists, as individuals, and as a community. All this always puts smiles in our faces and makes our hearts beam with pride. And who would ever topple your fervor to beat each other during Boodle time? You made this convention what it is. And we thank each of you for your precious and unforgettable contribution. And of course, a machine couldn't function fully without the full lubrication of oil. With this, we wish to thank all the people and entities that supported us. Our featured artists, our jurors, our so sponsors, LRI Design Plaza, and the National, Com National Commission for Culture and the Arts 
for trusting us with a grant for the very first time. When we had our last demo segment, if you were there last Sunday, you witnessed the exchange of messages of sadness, some tears were shed, sepangs expressed. You see, in all my years organizing events, this is one of the very few where emotions were openly expressed. That makes this event truly special because we were able to go beyond learning with our heads. Somehow, we came to the point where we were learning with our hearts. And life, like anything in life, beautiful things and even not so beautiful things come to an end. Let us not resist the separation and what we are ending. Instead, let us focus on what we have gained, the new learnings, lifetime friendships, and a community where everyone has a place. It's time to start anew and trust the magic of beginnings. This is John Cariaso Bakayan, and it was a pleasure serving all of you. Maraming salamat mga kasini. Congratulations, PGW, for a very successful annual convention. Thank you for inviting me as one of the speakers and uh, demo, demo artists. I learned a lot from it myself uh, from that experience. I also learned a lot from the other demos, and I enjoyed a lot the interaction with the members of PGW. So see you around. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you, Ms. Joan and Sir Jejo. Now, here's a taste of our promise to announce winners tonight. Let us call Ms. El Dumalaog, our Graphics Committee Head, and Ms. Jao Ong Pauko, our Program Committee Head, to announce the winners of our five missions and the joy in art. Thank you, Sir Eman. Good evening, mga kasining. I am El, and it is our pleasure to announce the winners from our mission event for this year's convention. Allow us to present the names of the participants who have completed the mission and the winners through a raffle draw. Good evening, mga kasining. I am Zhao, and I will be announcing the mission event's raffle winners. For mission one, we have our lucky winner, Ms. Judy Liuson, who will receive a workshop voucher worth 1500 from Playcrafts. Moving on to our mission to winner, so we have Ms. Maria Regina Gaon, who will receive a gift pack from Pop and Pigment. Also, an additional raffle was drawn for event two, and congratulations to Ms. Judy Liuson. She will receive a painting from Sir Art Kananen. For mission three, our lucky winner is Ms. Bambi Carbunco, who will receive a gift pack from this art room. And for mission four, our lucky winner is Ms. Kathy Chan, who will receive a cold pressed aquarella watercolor paper from Prestige Paper Products. And lastly, for mission five, we have our lucky winner, Ms. Jokel Banyas, who will receive a ceramic palette from Gift Box. That is all for our mission events. Again, congratulations to our lucky winners and congratulations as well to all who participated for the completed mission. Now, I'll give back the spotlight to Elle to announce the winners for Perfect Attendance and Ikigai Raffle. Thank you, Zhao. Now, let's move on to the recipients of the Perfect Attendance Award. Congratulations to Ms. Judy Luzon and Ms. Maria Regina Gawor. Both of you will receive a gift pack from PGW. And now for the Joy and Art Ikigai Raffle, we will draw three lucky winners through a spin a wheel. Now for our first winner, let's see, let's spin the wheel.
Father, congratulations to Ms. Luna de los Reyes. Now, let's sing another one. I think we have a winner. So now we have Miss Kathy Chan as our second lucky winner. Now let's sing for our last winner. We think we already know the winner. So, congratulations to Miss Jojo Javier. Congratulations again for our three lucky winners. Each of you will get a Paul Rubens watercolor paper. We hope that this could add further to your colorful journey in PGW. Thank you, Ms. L and Ms. Zhao. And congratulations to our winners. Now, it's time to reveal our Demo Arts Choice Awards. To announce them, let us call Ms. Sarah Olson, our member, Lyson Committee Head, and our one-man team on finance, Ms. Kyle Legaspi. Good evening, mga kasinin. Kyle and I are honored to announce the winners for the Artist Choice Awards for those who followed along during the demos. You will receive a gift pack courtesy of our sponsors and a certificate of recognition. To start off, let's watch PGW Honorary Member, Sir Dino Pahaw, as he announces the winner for his demo on portraits. The winner for the first paint along session for the fourth PGW watercolor convention is Nika Delica. Congratulations, Nika, for a beautiful piece, and congratulations, PGW, for the successful launching of this event. Sana magakaroon pa ng maraming event para maraming naingan yung magpinta. Uh, stay safe everyone. Thank you for the opportunity. Congratulations, Nika. Next, we have Kuya Jen Consumido sharing his favorite seascape artwork. Hi, si Kuya Jen po. Uh, nandito po ako upang ipaliwanag kung bakit yung um, contest na number 14 na pili ko na siyang nanalo nung nakaraang paint along nung ako ay nag-demo noon si Escape. Napaka-simple lang naman ang dahilan. Uh, yun ang napili ko dahil uh, sa unang tingin pa lang pakikita na natin yung water dynamics. Tapos uh, para bang sa pakirandam yan, nandun ka talaga sa tabi ng dagat. Ramdam mo pati yung parang naririnig mo pati yung pagaspas ng alon habang naririnig mo yung painting. Um, parang yung alam nyo yung moist ng hangin parang nararamdaman yung moisture sa hangin I should say at saka yung esensya ng watercolor na transparent sa pagkakapinta ay nandun din so congratulations to you um, contest on number 14 congratulations honey I'm sure you are feeling proud to see this piece up on your wall. Coming up, the artist choice for the watercolor illustration demo by Sandy Alnock is Jean Herrera. Congratulations! And all the way from Russia, the favorite cat rendition of Konstantin Sturkov goes to Congratulations, Manny Vailoses! Balik tayo ulit dito sa Pilipinas. Let's hear from our president, Pinky Peralta, as she announces her winner for her liberating abstract paint-along session. For the abstract um, paint-along, the winner that I pick is Charan, Miss Tessa Brodet. Okay, I think her artwork is extraordinary because of the composition. Um, I remember the process that I made uh, 
to Christ. No? It was serendipitous. And um, I think she also created something serendipitous and extraordinary in her abstract. Because when I look at her abstract, a mythical figure came out with sort of a unicorn and really alive, very dramatic. I think I commented to her in her post, it was very interesting. I also like her combination of colors and the contrast of values that uh, she has put. And it has that um, intent. It has that feeling of having planned it, but actually, I don't know if she planned it. I, I am sure she did not. And uh, she also exhibited the manifestations of the techniques that I have uh, used in the process. So she, she created them, but with so much uh, flair and a good execution. So I'm looking at it right now. And I congratulate you, Ms. Brudette. Congratulations, Tessa. Well, before we move on to the next winner, we would like to invite everyone to visit the second solo show of our president, Pinky Peralta, entitled Breath. It's opening this October in the lobby of One Surrender here in Taguig. Now let's watch Sir Jeje Jimenez as he awards his choice for Still Life. I was so happy to receive so many entries for the Still Life uh, that we had the demonstration for. And uh, all of them were so beautiful. And I was so happy to see each one of them. Before I announce the winner, um, I introduced myself during the demo as a former athlete. So let me give you a quote from sports from the Olympic Games. The founder of the Olympic Games said, the most important thing in the Olympic Games is not winning but taking part. Just as the essential thing in life is not the triumph and the struggle. So for all those who participated in the demo contest uh, under the still life, for me, in my book, you're all winners. But I had to choose a winner, and um, out of all the entries, I, it was difficult for me to choose, but finally, I'd like to announce the winner. Uh, she is Eileen Barrero. Congratulations, Eileen, and to everyone. Congratulations, Doc Eileen. And I would also like to congratulate Jejo on the opening of his solo show, Transitions, last September 28th. If you want to drop by, it's at the alley at Caravin Plaza, Makati. Do check out his Facebook page for more details. Okay, now let's watch our VP for the Arts and host, Eman Silva, as he reveals his choice for florals. Hello, um, good day. I know most of you have been watching right now is waiting eagerly for me to announce who won the been a long session with me last September 11, which I demonstrated a floral watercolor painting. And for this selection, uh, I did have a difficult time looking for just one among the best of the entries that were um, submitted for, uh, for me to pick or judge. And I know that the quality and the the works were actually very close to each other and it's very difficult for me to give this decision and select just one amongst the beautiful works that were submitted. But what I did was I actually compared the ones that stood out from the submissions and then I reviewed the works of these artists, these artists that submitted and compared them with their usual works. So, um, uh, I looked upon their the differences from their usual styles, their um, the quality of their work, and what work actually stood out from the rest, which is of course the winner that I selected for this paint along session. So this was Miss Susan Mendoza. So congratulations for winning this paint along. And I know most of you have submitted works. They were equally beautiful. They were equally well um, painted but um, I unfortunately I can only select one 
So thank you so much again for joining me in this paint along session and this is Emmanuel J. Silva, your VP for the Arts for the Philippine Guild of Watercolorist. I do hope you join us again on our next activities and more activities to come into the future. So thank you so much again, um, have a good day and God bless. Your hard work is really paying off, congratulations classmate Susan. Well, moving on, let me now congratulate the winner for Sir Art Punanan's Landscape in Figures demo. Again, congratulations, Sir Manny Vailoses. Hello, everyone. I'm very happy to be part of this year's BGW National Convention. As a Filipino living abroad, I welcome the chance to help and contribute to the development of Philippine art and artists. Aside from the 12-hour time difference, I enjoyed sharing my ideas and demonstrating the medium I love. Watercolor is a very challenging medium, and yet, sometimes it will surprise you as long as you know how to master the technique. And that is what I enjoy sharing with my students. I've been using this medium in my workshops here in Canada, the US, and in Europe, where I also conduct painting holidays every year. Sharing my knowledge with my fellow artists is an honor. Thank you very much for the experience and friendships. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. From Canada to Davao, let's welcome honorary member Mr. Gilbert Miraflor as he reveals his choice work during his figure painting demo. Hi, this is Gilbert Miraflor. It is now my privilege to choose and announce my favorite output from the DGW Gilbert Miraflor figure painting demo. I choose the work of Mani Balioses. One could readily see the artist's mastery in this favorite medium of watercolor. Congratulations, Mani. And to everyone, may we all have a fun field watercolor journey it's been a pleasure thank you that is already your third win sir manny by losses as early as now please prepare a curriculum because the board will most likely send you an invitation to be a demo artist next year now let's shift to another part of the world let's go to singapore as another pgw honorary member share his favorite artwork let us all welcome Mr. Achilles Akiaki Estremos. Hi everyone, this is Uki. Um, first of all, I want to extend my uh, gratitude to PGW for giving us the opportunity to share a personal uh, watercolor journey to be specific in this convention, right? So, uh, so much so that they have done uh, a good job really throughout and um, it has given me a difficult time to, to, to select the one because everyone is just so inspired and every story is you know every story that you have guys is so honest and I can connect to it each and every piece that you have in here you know um, so so difficult to, 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 to select but, but really um, I'm putting myself, you know, um, to, to select the one. I'm putting myself. If you know, uh, I would be the artist for this piece. You know, what would be the story, and, and why do I feel good about this painting? So that, that's what makes it so even more difficult. Yeah, because um, feel good. You know, it's, it's not only about um, you know the, the mastery, right, of, of watercolor. Um, you know, um, the, or the techniques, you know, is also about the will, right, to, to explore, especially when we talk about uh, 
watercolor medium. So everyone is a winner, um, you know, right? Well done. And, and you know, of course, con congratulations to everyone. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I have to select one. So the one is Miss um, Eileen Barrero or oh, Madam Eileen Barrero. So uh, congratulations. Just a few days ago, we were witnessing how Dan Makapugay brings his portraits to life. Congratulations to everyone who were able to catch up with his demo. Let's hear from him now as he shares which entry caught his heart. Hello po, uh, congrats sa lahat ng umatend sa demo ko. Maganda lahat ng ginawa nila. Pero uh, isa lang ang kailangan daw pong piliin. Napili ko yung gawa ni Ma'am Tessa Bordet. Ah. Uh, kung walang pir kung may kung ano siguro walang pirma yon na pagkamalan kung gawa ko. <laughs> Ayun ang galing po niya. Ah, uh, salamat sa lahat ng sumali. Again, congratulations Tessa. Now, we are awarding the winners for the last two demos of the convention as we painted with our international guests back to back last Sunday. Now, from Japan, master watercolor is Yuko Nagayama chose Roxanne Thailand as her favorite floral work during her demo. And from Malaysia, abstract master Jason Yeo reveals Susan Mendoza as his artist choice for the semi-abstract boat entries. Congratulations again, Susan. It is indeed bittersweet to watch and paint along during our last session last Sunday. But things don't end here in the convention. We invite you to join the future activities of PGW. Just check our website, Facebook, and Instagram for more announcements. And there you have it, mga kasining. Congratulations to everyone who joined our demos. You're all winners. From here and all over the world, night or day, rain or shine, in sickness and in health. You watched, joined, and painted along. Congratulations to all of you. And of course, to the demo winners, congratulations once again for being chosen as our instructor's favorites. They all had a very challenging time choosing just one. Now it's time to hear from the heart and soul of the convention, the engine that keeps the demos, talks, and contests going on and on and on this whole September, our volunteers. Hello everyone, my name is Beth Robles and I am a watercolorist and calligrapher and also a volunteer for PGW. Um, why volunteer for PGW? Well, I guess one um, of the things that connect us together is because we love watercolor. And um, in my own small way, I believe that I can help the group with whatever I have. So basically, um, I, I just have the time to post in our social media pages like in the Instagram account and in, the, in our page. So I was helping Sarah do the posting because um, posting really takes a lot of her time and that she can also use this for her for her other activities so in that little way i think i was able to help her but then came the kwentuhan series so i happened to know a little about zoom and doing it live over facebook and this one paved the way for so many other activities particularly in this pandemic so in volunteering you don't have to have that um any special talent but i think you have to have a little bit of your time to give to the group so if you have time and you wish to do this for a lot of the other members I encourage you to join PGW and do some volunteer because um, we really need help and really need a lot of volunteers that can help us um, the perks of being a volunteer well one is seeing everyone happy um, enjoying the activities like in this convention it was one of the most challenging and one of the most time-consuming events that I have ever helped with the PGW. And um, seeing the comments every time we are live, you cannot see the behind the scenes, but 
you you would see us very rattled. We are not breathing at all for the entire segment because something happens along the live. For example, one of our MCs um, would suddenly fall out of the screen and then because there was brown out in the area and there was um, sometimes an MC would suddenly change because um, there was no internet. Like my internet was lagging. I have to change the host at a particular moment and you don't see that in the screen because the screen needs to flow smoothly no so if there are te technical difficulties that we try to hide we do that during the convention and in the live show and that for me is very um exciting exciting because i learned a lot exciting because of the things that i learned during those moments and it's very fulfilling on my part so if you are indeed um a man for others and if you enjoy what you are enjoying right now as a member so please join us and be a volunteer for the pgw the perks another perk of being um a member a volunteer is that you get front row seats like i love love i love live selling as you can see it and of course in the demos there's the, there are very nice artists that you get to see even if you know um, you see it in your own homes um, it's different when you see them and when you can talk to them in the zoom room even in the zoom room so i i have met the most amazing artists um, both locally and international like when we do the kwentuhan series i am very happy to know like um our very very um, talented artists like tonton sir tonton sir darby um, I wouldn't know that we have this very talented artist until I went into the Philippine Guild of Watercolors. So, I'm inviting all of you and I hope you do enjoy the convention because we have worked hard. It's a group effort um, and um, you see the people behind the scenes. There are a lot of people behind the scenes and they're really working hard to give this convention to all of you. So, um, so please try to volunteer for the Philippine Guild of Watercolors and enjoy the rest of the convention. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Vanina of the Programs Committee. On behalf of Mr. Chao Ong Palco, our program head, and the whole programs team, we extend our warmest appreciation and thanks to all of you for participating in this convention. And yes, the PGW received your kind words and read your positive feedback. We felt the love. Thank you. All the hard work paid off. This is indeed a very memorable experience and a privilege to be a part of. May we take this chance to honor and say how very grateful we are to these dynamic, remarkable, dedicated leaders who have been the pillars of the virtual programs team. Ms. Joanne Dakayan, Ms. Sara Ongsun, Ms. Beth Robles, and Ms. Ethel Pahao for tapping and mentoring us while preparing this prestigious occasion. Wow, your heart for the PGW is amazing. Napakaswerte ho natin sa kanila. And of course, the wisdom and inspiration of our president, Ms. Pinky Peralta, and the board. Who would have thought we can pull up something as wonderful as this, even in this time of the pandemic? So once again, a big thank you and kudos to all of us. Let's continue to inspire and grow our love for watercolor. Hello everyone, I'm Cher Mendoza and I'm one of the volunteers for the Use of Hope Convention Committee and I'm the assistant head for graphics and also a member of the PR committee. Volunteering for the convention was one of the best decisions I made this year and sure it was no mean feat because planning the convention was took several months we had weekly meetings and we even had to put in long hours at night to do tasks. But it didn't feel like work. I was 
relatively new to PGW but I felt the warm welcome and it drove me to do more to do better and seeing all the feedback from the members it was heartwarming it was icing on the cake or so they say and I really am very grateful for PGW for giving me this wonderful opportunity and if I were asked to do it all over again I would do it in a heartbeat thank you and I hope everyone who's having second thoughts about volunteering don't because it's really such a wonderful community and we all can do a little bit to share and help to make it even better for future members. Hello mga kasining! Mayang buntag from Cebu City. This is Ethel. Well, it was indeed a sweet September. Would you agree? It was because the whole month of September was filled with enriching activities for the artists like you. If I can compare the entire experience to something, that would be watercolor in itself. Like water, hindi mapipigilan ang daloy ng tubig. Um, commitment is something like that. Passion is like that. It just flows and it works perfectly in any situation. And just like color, there are different colors. When you apply, when you put it into water, magic happens and not just one color will showcase but it's just giving the best colors but you still look at it as one piece so we're like that i would like to say thank you also to our this year's committee um heads the members and of course our board of directors for working so hard for giving your best i know it took you guys more than a year to prepare and it's all worth it we all saw it i experienced how good it it went so till our next convention this is once again ethel one of your hosts signing off see you next time bye thank you kyle and sarah for announcing the artist choice winners congratulations thank you too uh to uh mom errol beth chair and vanina for giving us a the glimpse of life before the convention and exciting episodes behind the scenes. To all those interested to be part of the next year's convention preparation, message us on FB and we will surely welcome you with open arms. Now, our next presenters will surely be the first ones to welcome you for the next year's preparations. Please welcome our president, Ms. Pinky Peralta, and let's call back our VP for local art uh, local events and convention committee head Joan Kakayan to announce this year's on the spot contest winners so these are the winners of OTSP contest each winner will receive 10,000 pesos and uh, we have our jury for each OTSP and the winners will be announced by me and by Miss Joanne Gakaya. So here we go. First is the OTSP Still Life. The jurors are Mr. Eman Silva, Mr. Jejo Jimenez, and Mr. Gilbert Miraflor. The finalists who made it to OTSP Still Life were Althea Roa, Bambi Carbunco, and Vino Januario. And the winner is, drum roll, <laughs> Mr. Vino Januario. Congratulations. Okay, so now we'll have our on the spot painting on florals. First of all, we would like to thank our sponsor who was able to who made this possible because this is not originally in our uh, calendar, no? So, here we have our jurors, Mr. Eman Silva, Ms. Sissy Lai, and uh, Ms. Ronnie Law of LRI. So, the finalists 
R, Miss Altea Roa, Miss Charmeline Virgilia, Miss Sher Mendoza, and our winner is Miss Charmeline Virgilia. Congratulations! OTSP portrait. The jurors are Mr. Grandier Hill Bella, Mr. Romy Carlos, Miss Kylie Gaspi. And the finalists were Amado Chua, Manny Vailoses, and Vino Januario. And the winner is Mr. Manny Vailoses. Congratulations, Manny. And now, the most um, challenging, so we thought, uh, on the spot painting, then uh, using the non-dominant hand, we have our jurors, Mr. Jen Consumido, Mr. Aquiles Estremos, and Miss Pinky Peralta. So the finalists are Eugene Tusi, Jofel Banez, Miss Marie Franco, Sandra Selly, Mr. Sen Lacson, and Wendy Rondaris. And the winner is Mr. Sen Lakson. Congratulations, Kuya Sen. And now, um, we would like again to congratulate all the winners of our, of our On The Spot Painting Competition. And we hope we'll see you again for these competitions next year. We are excited to also hear from the members who participated in the convention. So here are their testimonials. Hello, mga kasining. I'm Eileen, and it's my first time to join PGW convention. I just want to share that the demos in this convention aren't just ways to teach people how to paint a certain way or master a specific style. I realized that I actually got to know my style better because there's a time limit and now I'm forced to focus and be in the moment. And also I realized that everybody is actually pretty good at painting anyway. So when I see all the demo entries in one page, I can see that each person has in his or her own particular beautiful unique style. When I saw the month-long list of activities lined up for the fourth general convention, I immediately thought that this is going to be a great experience and it's probably something that I should not miss. At, at hindi po ako nagkamali. From the very first session to the most recent one, I, I learned a lot of things that an artist should know and also received much encouragement. Uh, same goes with all the virtual talks that went with it without which I could not have heard kung hindi po ako sumali. I have already learned so many new techniques from the best artists in the Philippines as well as in the world. And I have the chance to try those techniques. And it went really well. With all these sessions that I've attended, I should say that I, have, I was able to pick up some tips from good speakers like John Cogley and Sir Rex about pigments and uh, restoration of paintings. Uh, sa convention na ito, ang dami ko po na itunan na bago po bago sa aking experiences. Lalo na yung on the spot painting. Lagi po siya nakakaba, pero lagi po masaya. Uh, super sulit po lahat, pati yung mga demo. Sa demo, ang ginagawa ko po doon na pinapanood ko po muna bago ko ginagawa. Kasi nag-take down notes po ako. Ang dami ko ng notes dito sa notebook ko. Uh, every time na hawak mo yung brushes, uh, parang ang gana feeling eh. Parang nawawala yung stress pa sa mandala. Alam mo yung feeling na kahit uh, alam mo yung pandemic eh, masayang pakiramdam na kasabaw yung nagpipinta yung ibang uh, watercolorist. Uh, every day, I'm just really excited to wake up and create and have fun. And uh, thank you kasi ramdam ko yung heart and passion ng bawat tao na nag-contribute and especially yung mga nag-work talaga behind the scenes. I don't know each one personally but thank you. Super thank you. Um, 
uh, i-treasure ko talaga to sa art journey ko. It's been a great adventure and um, I see it like it's a gift that keeps on giving because I have been learning so much and one of the best parts is that you make friends along the way. So Thank you PGW officers, organizer, volunteers for sacrificing your time to make this virtual activities, demo, exciting life selling and learn tips from virtual talks. I believe that this wasn't a coincidence for me. Uh, there must be some reason for me to be here and I'm willing to take the shot in watercolor. To me, ang dahil yung impact ng convention na to. I'm very happy to be part of this convention and I'm looking forward for more activities sponsored by the Philippine Guild of Watercolor. So, thank you to PGW. Salamat PGW organizers. Thank you. Sana in the future, mayroon pang mga ganitong klaseng events eh. Uh, ang laki ng pasasalamat ko talaga. At sa lahat ng mga taong nasa likod dito, talagang kudos po sa inyo. Saludo talaga. Pabuhay, PGW. Thank you to our participants. Eileen, Alice, Bambi, Kati, Honey, Judy, Manny, Michael, and Regina for sharing us your insights, experiences on the convention. We hope to hear more from you so we can continue to improve our service for you in our next upcoming events, especially in the International Exhibit and the 5th National Watercolor Convention next year. And of course, congratulations to our 2021 convention on the spot painting winners, Vino, Charmeline, Manny, and Sorsen. Now, before we end, let us hear a message from our president, Ms. Pinky Peralta. Hello, my dear friends and Kasining. We have come to the culmination of the PGW Port National Convention. It is without a doubt the most memorable of all months this year, where we truly enjoyed art jamming almost every day. What is art but a celebration of one's life and joys with another? And we have one another and a lot of new friends because of this convention. Today, I would like to thank none other than NCCA and LRI. Without their unwavering support, we would not have this kind of experience. Marami pong salamat. Finally, I know you have become aware of the exceptional teamwork and spirit of volunteering in PGW. We enjoy because of their sacrifice. As early as now, I would like to personally invite you to go on board and become part of the volunteer group. We welcome you. So as we look with a lot of hope for 2022, let me remind you of our upcoming plans ahead yet. I'd like to invite you to participate in our Beyond the Church Painting Contest and Art in the Park Exhibition. What you learned in this convention, you might pursue in full swing by participating here. I'd like to invite you too to our November Quentuhan session, featuring no other than the living legend Lito Barreran. Don't miss the interview, the demo, and the paint along. The plain air in virtual mode will still continue and we will have a plain air contest 2022, so better practice your outdoor painting skills. Then the PGW infotainment will resume anytime soon with different upcoming personalities sharing their expertise as well. Next year, June, the IWS Philippines will host the first international watercolor exhibition online. This is another major milestone for PGW, so watch out for it. And as early as now, mark your calendar for our fifth PGW National Convention that will happen on October 2022. As I said before, 
Our mission isn't only for our own growth and enjoyment in the inner community. As long as I'm here, together with the PGW board, we are giving back to the society we live in. So next year, an important part of the convention would be sponsorships of qualified but indigent youth artists. I hate to say goodbye, but in conclusion, this will come as a surprise for everybody here, including the core. Today, I would like to confer an honor and recognition to four people whom I value very much. I have in my hand four plaques of recognition, honoring four women for their highest degree of dedication to the existence and success of PGW since its inception. So let me begin. In no order of importance, of course. But first, let me give this plaque Yay. to Miss Karen Siosan and I read Philippine Guild of Watercolorist, IWS Philippines, presents this plaque in recognition of a pioneering leader to Ms. Karen Siosan, PGW founder and president 2014 to 2018, who made a difference and extraordinary vision that made who we are today. Whatever you do, Work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Colossians 3, 23 to 24. Given this 30th of September, 2021. Signed, Pinky Peralta, President, 2021-2022, Philippine Guild of Water College. Maraming salamat, Ms. Karen Siosan. And next on my list, it's Digital Water Collection 20. To Ms. Jinky Rayo, Philippine Guild of Watercolorist presents this plaque with our greatest appreciation to Ms. Jinky Rayo. PGW President 2018-2020 for all the sacrifices, hard work, and leadership you have shown. Thank you. And again, I quote the Colossians 3.23. Given this 30th of September 2021, signed PGW President Pinky Peralta. Maraming salamat, Ms. Jean Kerayo. The third, who's on your list, huh? Who's your bet? Person I would like to congratulate and award is my friend, Miss Sarah Liuson Ongsun. And let me read. Philippine Guild of Watercolorist presents this plaque with our greatest appreciation. We are proud to honor Sarah Liuson Ongsun, Interim President 2020, for being a true leader. Again, I quote the Colossians 3, 23, 24. Given this 30th of September 2021, Pinky Peralta, President 2021. Maraming salamat, my friend Sarah Liuson Ongsun. So who's your bet for the last one? The last one is the one responsible for our convention. You know, I handpicked her even before she became the, the VP for local experiences. And God gave me the wisdom to handpick her and God gave her the wisdom to handpick also. The volunteers and that is why we have a successful PGW convention. Maraming salamat Ms. Joanne Gakayan and as an honor I am giving this plaque of appreciation 
Philippine kilt of watercolors presents this flag with our greatest appreciation. We are proud to honor Joanne Carias Songakayan, Use of Hope Project Head, for her priceless contribution to the success of the Ford PGW Convention, National Convention, and Jury Members Exhibition. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Colossians 3, 23-24, given this 30th of September, 2021. Signed, Pinky Peralta, President, 2021-2022, Philippine Guild of Watercolors. We have it, mga kasini. Congratulations to our four women leaders of PGW. And we are so honored to have you with us. And that is all. Maraming salamat po mga kasini. Till next time, ito po ang inyong lingkod, Pinky Peralta. All right, there you have it, guys. Congratulations to our winners and congratulations too to the rest of our participants because our convention was full of learning, earning new friends, building stronger community, and that makes us all the winners. Again, to remind you, if you have not availed of our lifetime access to our videos here for our convention, the FB access for our convention, but wish to go back to them, since non-lifetime package will end their access today, you may still take advantage of it by just uh, adding the difference of what you paid today for a full lifetime access. So contact us on Messenger or email us for more info. Now, I would like to uh, grab this opportunity to thank our partners who have helped make the fourth PGW National Water Con Color Convention possible. Thank you to our partner, the National Commission on Culture and the Arts for supporting our mission to promote watercolor art and our Filipino artists. And to LRI Design Plaza, our venue sponsor for the Use of Hope during Members Exhibit. If you haven't been there, I invite you to visit from Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Our exhibit is showing from September and has been extended until October 31st. For all our watercolor materials, shop with our partners. This is Art Room. This is the distributor of Daniel Smith watercolor paints and leaf brushes and palettes. Gift Box Inc. Distributor of Bahong watercolor paper, watercolor brushes, paints, and a lot more. Check out the store in Lazada. Thank you, Prestige Paper, the, the distributor of Fabriano watercolor paper. And of course, to Pulp and Pigment, the distributor of Arch watercolor paper, Skoda brushes, and Windsor Nuron Cotman watercolor paints. We also have Playcrafts page for workshops and classes if you want to improve your uh, craft in watercolor. Again, this is Emmanuel Silva together with the rest of the 4th PGW National Watercolor Convention team. We thank you and we pray that um, for your continued safety. See you on our next event, the Kwentuhan with Sir Lito Malaran in November and our Christmas party in December. See you there. Stay safe, stay inspired, mga kasini. God bless.
be too hard on yourself to judge at once. But instead, be agile. Let's like, like painting, no? free flowing. Try to observe and then accept also the things that, that is true in the past. No? Good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much, Philippine Guild of Watercolorists, for this uh, wonderful opportunity to be part of your worthy project today, providing an opportunity for the artists to continue creating masterpieces at this time of uh, pandemic and inspiring our community, uh, the general public, uh, to while on quarantine, to also do their uh, visual art creations in their own uh, on their home. So, napagaganda po ng project at kami sa National Commission for Culture and the Arts, so really. Uh, very happy that you are our partner for this uh, wonderful uh, uh, project that we're having today. 